Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back to another ROM hack. This time it's Super Evil World Luigi's Adventure. I'm really hoping this is the newest version because this is version 3.4. I've gotten a few different ones and I can't remember if I put the newest one in my ROM folder or not. Uh, so far, it's kind of starting off with bad palettes. Um, that's the first thing that really sticks out to me is, uh, bad palettes at first. Why is there a yellow box around Mario? That's kind of odd. Um, Forest of Illusion 1? I'm assuming the names... Um, hello, Mr. Wiggler... thing? Wow, that, uh, that turtle really had a bad palate. Is it just me, or is this actually Forest of Illusion? Um, I think it actually is. I am 90% positive that it is. Angry Wiggler, uh, chomp. But yeah, no, this this is actually Forest of Illusion. Wow, okay, I I am hoping that this is just a glitch of some sort. Um because we all know putting a uh putting things, levels, original Mario World levels into your hack is not good. Let's see, star, mushroom, flower, cape. There we go, that's what I wanted, and I turn into Luigi. Oh, let's just fly. Could get the secret exit, I guess, if I really wanted to, because this should be a pea balloon. Wow, okay, um, I'm kind of just rushing through this now. Uh, the reason why I played this level is I wanted to keep Yoshi in my feather. That's honestly the only reason I stayed doing that level. Uh, Red Switch Path 1. Hopefully this will be new. Okay, it is new. Starting out in the clouds. A little, a little odd to start off in the clouds. Um, and then badly cornered rope tile thing. Uh, most people don't realize that, and why is that one block solid? That's really confusing me. Okay, it's not just that one block, they're random solid blocks. But, um, oh, a lot of people don't, okay, this is really buggy and glitchy. I can't even, I, I can't really go on in a normal direction. I'm kind of having to guess where safe is because half of those lines I've they were solid which is not normal in the at all. I mean look at that. I just kind of touched it and it was like oh I'm going to be solid. Okay. Now I'm over here, jumping over the chainsaws, ignoring those, and the end. And I die. Okay, that was bad. I was really expecting this one because I kept talking to the guy creating this. And I kept hearing like, oh, it's really good, but it really doesn't seem like it. And I'm doing this so I can actually beat the level and see what's, um, Gray Switch Palace. It seems like some of the levels are just unlocked from the get-go. Iggy's Kingdom 2. Let's see what this is. I don't really know. There's a random gray dragon coin. Yeah, the palettes are not very good. I'm sorry if you thought they were or you put effort into them, but they're not really that good. 
Oh, Mr. Bad Corner Tile there, Bad Corner Tile there. Do, do, do. Kind of the same gimmick over and over. Sliding Koopa, yeah. Uh, the note blocks that I have to uncover and use to bounce up here. Random ledge tile down there. Oh, look at that cutoff land. Cutoff is never good. You don't want to do it. And you don't even need that second no block. The first one would have gotten me up there perfectly fine. And it's it's not even a challenge. It's an annoyance. Let's see. I bet anything. Honestly, I bet anything that if I did not get that piece switch, I will get to the end and it's going to be like, oh, solid blocks for you. You are now dead. Which, I could, in fact, be wrong looking at it. It could be, if you didn't get the piece which you don't get the secret exit. And there's a cutoff sign. Wow, this hack is not really that good. Okay, that turns the things into... Okay, whatever. Gray Switch Palace. This is looking oddly like the... Yellow Switch Palace. Are there coins? Yes, there are. There are lots of coins. But let's ignore that for now. And we come over here to a spot where I have to jump up and go and run and run and cut off and keep going. If I was big, that would have been a pain. Well, let's, let's go over and explore the other level. I mean, I, why are those levels accessible? Iggy's Kingdom 4. Do, 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 do. Sonic music, I know that much. And let's see, this is kind of boring. Lots of sliding Koopas and random solid blocks that are absolutely pointless and shouldn't be there in the first place wow just random there's no point in those solid blocks there isn't and then there's that if I didn't get the switch all those turtles would be dead and then all of these wow this this is just like oh I'm gonna use the same two gimmicks over and over and over and hope I make a good hack, which I'm sorry to say it's not that good. Let's just stay here and then be like, oh, look at me. Look at that bouncing little turtle. He's like, oh, look at me. I can bounce. You're like, I don't really care, turtle. This isn't even like challenging. It's more of the fact of the major slowdown that's causing my sudden death of deathness because it's just slowing down horribly. Iggy Kingdom 5, more bad corner tiles, and a mushroom, and another mushroom, and these plants are actually very easy to kill with these blocks right here. And I have an infinite supply of power-ups. This is making this level not hard at all. Oh, this is no challenge. No, oh, none. Oh, oh, look at that. I can't just run under that one. Oh, but I can run under that one. Oh, oh, look. Oh, I got hurt. Oh, how, whatever shall I do? Oh, really now? Do, 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 do. Jumping over that one was my plan, but now it's not because I just killed him. Ah, uh, sigh, sad face, angry face, very confused, raised eyebrow face. I don't know, I can't think of any more emoticon things. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. Do, do. 
Wow, this is this is so fun. Oh, let's let's cause massive slowdown because you really shouldn't build things out of uh blocks like this. And of course, this is really easy. Let's just do that. That goes up to Iggy's castle. Let's just test this out, I guess. And sprite bad sprite header. Oh. And you didn't even change. You just got rid of the nets. That is all you did. Wow, I I'm sorry. After this, I'm going to stop the hack. This is not fun at all for me. It's just it's yeah, it's not fun. It's really not. It's a bunch of sorry to say, poorly made levels that I can tell you tried, but you didn't try as hard as you could and it very very seems like you rushed a lot of things and now you're even getting into like kaizo jumps which <sighs> I as people have heard me rant about before I have nothing against hard games really I don't I have stuff against kaizo games because they expect normal players like normal everyday players to be able to do these type of things this jump right here is near to impossible without using slowdowns I yeah I'm I'm not even going to touch this any further I'm sorry if the levels get better later I sorry if the hack gets better later? I, I really don't care at this point. It comes down to... You didn't put the time and effort into making a hack. It could be a whole lot better. It's not. It has a lot of pal issues. You didn't send it to anyone to play test. Um, you rushed it, which is very obvious. You have unchanged levels that are accessible that you really should not have you have cheap tricks um, you copy and pasted a ton of places in your level that was very obvious too it's this needs a lot of work this needs a major overhaul you could probably make a very interesting game but with the current hack and how it is you're just going to get bad reviews no matter who plays it that's what's going to happen that's the truth and I don't really know what else to add to that